Sadiq is a philanthropist, TV and radio personality. She is a community worker and Duterte, who is joining us in the studio today. Hello and welcome to On The Set. My name is Wadzanai. We are coming to you live from Sly Media TV. And joining me on the set is Tete Tilda. I would like to welcome you. Thank you very much, Wadza. And to everyone that's joining us, make sure you've liked the page and you share. My likes, Takamutaura, Ngawande, my likes, Ngawande. Without taking much of your time, let us take you to Tete Tilda. Hello, Tete. Hello, Wadza. How are you? No, I'm good, thanks, and you? <laughs> I'm quite nervous because it's oh. not every day you interview a great. Uh, uh, household name, <laughs> Tilda. No, you don't need it. What is your shadow that we're scared of? But I'm, I'm happy to have this opportunity to okay. be talking with you and interviewing you. Actually, it's uh, also an honor to be on this platform. No, that's great. Yes. Um, so we would like to start with probably your journey. Okay. Just to hear from you how mm. your journey has been radio, TV, how, how has that been for you, generally? Okay. Um, I think my journey uh, on radio and uh, television, it all started in 1986. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, it all started in 1986. Actually, I remember when it started. Uh, things were not as difficult as it is these days. Kudara Shunjitir writes, Nenye education ye monomo Zimbabwe, younger it is so powerful, Zokuti, Munuese Ayenda Kuchkoro, whether was Shika A level, was Shika O level, and then he form two year or was Shikari, wait a mamma certificates. Uh, you'd also you'd just get anything, chawai kwanza kuzoita in life. So I remember when I um, uh, did my O levels. Okay, by the way, I went to school in Bulawayo, right. uh, which is where I was born. Actually, in the Rompilo Hospital, in the Kadzidza Bulawayo, in the I went to Induba Primary School, for my high school. I went to Founders High School, right? right? So after uh, I finished my high school, I had my aunt who used to stay in Arare in Highfields. So like we used to come for holidays. So that's when I said, um, okay, I just want to try something in Arare. I remember my first job after my high school, I was an insurance company in legal in general by then. A teacher clerical work. We just like um, a, my mama school leave us. Taka wanda chikweta clerical work, filing chi 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 and so forth. So one day, one of my sales rep, by tengesa insurance, he just came through. Aka te askana, pane anyone ane maoz aka kuwa na yere, e kuzebi si kurudi wavan. Taka okay, taka yes, shukani but kurudi wavan wari bilingual. Uh, English Shona in the Valley. So I happened to have all those uh, my qualifications I knew. So the governance, all right, just go to Embarry Studios. auditions So I went there in I was referred by then uh, to the head of the station in Gwayans Radio 2, Mr. Godwin Bofana. Saka, I was the youngest. I remember the time I was uh, I was twenty one years. Saka, did you have the youngest partner? Ah, I can tell Saka. Do you think you can do this? I said, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. And then we went through the auditions. Uh, after we did the auditions, I no no And I happened to be one of the top top uh, 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 people who qualified. Saka from there, <coughs> I went through a lot of training. Nikoko ku kuku ZBC. Like uh, that time you'd go through like all the departments, right? If you wanted to be a presenter, you'd go through all the departments like uh, we had the library, 
e kwa kuni like ma books ma tapes e kudzara kwa 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 kusina zvedu zvekuti tine information e pa ma unokwanza kuita mo laptop and so forth no kwa kutori like ma hard copies of everything ma tape chayo e kuti maenda mchino record ata ne ma machine ma hombe kuti pa uno record uno yane dzi tape rakadai you play it mo chi editor i remember the editing that we used to do it wasn't like editing at no it apa manengekin anga ri matape you'd like a pane yenze splice editing kuti you'd listen to a tape pause ngadi auto cut like pane kuti kuto cut yes then no join it the pone nguchida you know and everything would be like yeah would come out very very clean so i went through all the departments like kwakune archives yema books archives yema tapes a technical operators mo studio a most of my programs they were pre-recorded so like you you you'd actually you would need a, a, a an operator or someone to record you you'd actually record yourself i don't pin my studio to set my tapes up everything you know to that nda kutotanga uchitoita presentation yako yesho yako playing my records uchi join it and my interviews are not join it within the program and program like would come out very very clean so yeah though in doing my training that we went through like a technical operation and then we also had more studio imo pachamo like these days things are so so easy no there like when you get into a studio ruzo kuti chazoda connect kune bora chazoda kudai chazoda kudai so my presenters you'd actually be trained pane ya in the pitch field pa uno connect ma cables uchafanda zvo kuti right tuda kubata vari kurufaro ndicha connect apa ma cables ango ndokufanda kuita apa izvi zvazva pa feda i and then maybe i during your show say pamo urikwanza kuita ma crossover pamwe kune something happening ku rufaro there's something happening ku heroes eka chichi so before you start your show you'd need like an hour yeah you'd report for duty an hour before your show and then uchinyatso za kuti zvinhu zvako zvaka line up say and then if it's going to be bora heroes eka chakati chakati then you do your own e ma cable za yoku page up e wokona kuti zvinhu zvese zva in order wakunyatso tsa right apa njatsi mudza fade apa njatsi mudza so these days to go out in life ka it's easy chako kungosvika ongogara unongo chingodzwa right okay we are crossing over we can be a crossing over you know it's so easy these days but yeah it's so i think um the training that we went through a yeah yanga yaka yaka topping and they are cutting this as in life. Yeah. Because now, now, now it's like, oh, that's actually much simpler. Exactly, exactly. And then, and then the other thing, like you'd be trained everything. Kuva presenter, even Kuveringa news, Chero Usinga Veringa news, you were supposed to know all that. I remember one day uh, I was on duty. Then kwa kuita kuchitwa news the ma vernacular languages, eh, the Shona news reader was there. Aka vaverenga, vaverenga, vaverenga. Achipe arku verenga a minute before Sata pay that calls gone the Ndevele news reader is not in the studio. Here is the script. You'll have to do this the news. Aparupi wa script re in English. Uyu apeza. Urku verenga which is translator, which is our presenter, in the story life. Yes. But that, that was more great, because <laughs> yeah. now you knew how to like, conduct any oh, particular yeah. post. Anything, any anything situation, with, yeah. yes. Mm. So how was it on air, like the first time, the first time you were on air? How did All right. Um, I remember very well, uh, when I was just getting ready to go on air, um i think I, 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 I it took me about 6 months like ndichi gadzira okay i was ready i i uh, gone through everything eh saka ndatomira kuti tichenda on a anti guarantee nda tinoti okay pinda mu studio ramba uchi try tichi practice mu studio you know muno auto go and not ha saka when will i ever go on a so one day eh uh, just before the 10 o'clock show i remember it was a musical show Nitoro mu studio ndakati relax ndakanzo okay 
Uh, this is it. You are going to present the show live by Radio Ijeji. <laughs> exactly. This is something you wanted. Yeah. It's something that I wanted. Yeah. You know, the first time every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, uh, anyway, yeah, for the first few minutes, yeah, we be in but yeah. later you, you get relax. to relax, you yeah. get to relax after that day, everything. It just, just flows. Ah, oh, that's amazing. It's like, what's happening now? Wait, mm-hmm. I'm anxious because I'm like, my way. But you get into it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Course, yeah uh, also, course. I was wondering, could you, what big names and for people who weren't there in 1986, Mm-hmm. What big names did you work with Kuradio to? Um, I can say they were all big. Yeah. <laughs> I can say they were all big. I can oh. say they were all big. Yeah. Um, and the Isusu, I think time, yataka pinda Kuradio. Mm-hmm. Folks had to na on Facebook and a YouTube. Yeah. And yeah. She, uh, I always say to people, you know, I think the time that we went on radio, even on television, you know, it was really huge for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, actually, it's like now, if you are, if I'm to ask you, uh, how many presenters do you know? Maybe they can mention our radio stations, because radio station, yeah, 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 yeah. My radio station on social zoti when my children are now. But with us, it was very easy. Everyone was just famous. Uh, radio stations, it's a because that was the only entertainment that was there. That was Music, chayo papa sina jogu download. Chayo jogu ti, ah, kune latest, I'm going to download. Latest, yes, I'm going to download. Paradio. So everyone, like, would be waiting for kunzwa paradio. Kuti, ah, tukuda kunzwa kuti, eh, music, nyo wani ripo ni. Deepi. So I think everyone was just, eh, everyone was just big. All right. And being 21 and having these big names, radio, wasn't it like um, um, threatening? Not threatening, that's not the word. Kuti, didn't it like shock you? Kuti, oh my word. It, yeah. yeah. You know, just like what you were saying yes. <laughs> before we had this interview. Yeah. yeah, it was like that. I remember some of my role models, uh-huh. by then, I don't know if people were who watch it just now what it was even. Vananya Shama Zingira. She was very, very famous mm-hmm. on radio too. Eh, Vanasem Kitiga, Vana Joe Panganai. You know, all those names. I know any generation names when I talk about our new work. I want to say, who are those people? Yeah. But that time, and one by Vairira, by Pisa, Tito A. So you can imagine how it was. Eh, Unumur Manakura, who's what it is. And then, you change the and you give an and then, then you just get that opportunity. Yeah. But you just get that opportunity. Ah, yeah. you know, it was just exciting. Alright, and who would you say was your role model going into the industry? Um, I used to like and follow a lot um, Nyasha Matsingira. Yeah. <laughs> by then she was Nyasha Matsingira, she's now Nyasha, Nyasha Maposa. Okay. Yeah, she was my role, role model. All right. Yeah. And what parts of her, Aungati, like, I, took, I got this from listening to her, from working with her, just generally. Kuti, what did you appreciate most when it came to her work? She was a very cool a natural person. Yeah. Actually, I learned a lot for, from her. You know, to be a presenter, a broadcaster, or just a, you know, a socialite, yeah. you just have to be yourself. You do. You don't have to imitate anyone. Be who you are. Mm-hmm. Okay? And what is important at the end of the day, humbleness. Yeah. If you stay humble, uh, you will go far. No, that is true. Thank you. I think our listeners are hearing. If you stay true to yourself, you will go fine if you're humble. 
so I would like to thank you for tuning in and for watching us. Um, mm -hmm. We are live um, from our Sly Media Studios in the capital city to wherever you are. And joining us on the set is Tete Tilda, mm -hmm. who is sharing with us her journey in the industry and just talking to us to get to know her more and just to, you know, connect with her and know more apart from just um, that just getting to know her as as a person and uh, it's amazing it's beautiful to see and also i wanted to ask kuti when um you started which shows were you doing for the benefit of those uh, which shows were you doing all right when i started radio mostly it was the entertain entertainment shows mm -hmm. uh, like um on radio two uh, by then and a quasi so a uh, musical shows and then um yeah it, my, my request shows and then radio uh, by the way we were the first presenters of Ezomhito. oh yes uh, i remember uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes yes uh -huh. yes every <laughs> thursday <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we used to watch it. Okay. And did you, okay, you mentioned that you didn't really have, you didn't know you were going to get mm -hmm. into into yeah. radio or TV, yeah. but just by just the opportunity happened. of getting there. So, what then drove you to go to Zino, Zino Chikisa, Zino Shura, Zino, Zokuti, we here and we're just there like, is this really happening? What, what made you go into that direction? Um, I, th I remember what happened when I first did that show, eh, by then then through Uko, pane pana kangu piwa a slot of a show yemakusen. Eh, we are talking of ma ma three a.m. Okay. Right, but not ma graveyard shift. Mm -hmm. Eh, which pane pasi nakana muna no teri rakata kutichi and this kind. So I remember my first first show yandaka ita ye zunuira zunuchikisa what mm -hmm. that. A Mazwa Atanga Vanakungo Ranyas a certain event. Mm -hmm. So there was a story of this guy who was a student who you said who got into this uh, Satanism thing. So I said, you know what? Some of these things we just hear about them, and the people would not even want to talk about it. Yeah, I think Chikisa Joshua. Then that's when I said, no, you know what? Kotikambo Tiranya and Mugotrumbo Kamba said. So, a Kubada Chaka this guy, a Kangotanga was there in those Arbita. He actually was coming out in the open. I think I just want to get out of this thing. I spoke to him, then we agreed to go to Aweba show. I tell you, the show was like every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. So, the week he had supposed to go to Aweba show, there were a lot of things that were happening. In the okay, even up to now, people think they were judged spiritual. It took me three weeks. Kuti aku azo kwanza kia basho. Pekutanga pakangu tama complications. E kichi two. E when he was on his way, kumbi anga kuzura kuira vayeta accident. And then I told my bosses, kuti no pane this issue that this is what is happening. So like when all this was happening, I would give a feedback to our listeners. Uh -huh. They didn't know what to do. So everyone was like, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, mm -hmm. yeah. Then, no, actually it took four, it took four weeks. KG3, eh, my, my, my bosses of Vavatino, she tell the driver, and I don't pick up my mm -hmm. So, driver, day before the shift, I came back and I don't pick up my mother. I don't pick up my then there I just suppose with the anger chair on air. When the driver went, I get it at the Miraga share at drift. Yeah. Then I could shy, I was shy at drift. I can shy, I can shy. Then, ah, so everyone was like, ah, this story, you meet them at the two minutes when you are one. What is really going on? Yeah. So until finally he came the fourth week. The fourth week. So yeah. when he came the fourth week, he started sharing his story. I just told I remember when we were in the middle of um, the interview. Wow. 
You can imagine my getter in my name on the studio. I saw an aura of a man with darkness, man, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just something. Oh, wow. so these are some of the experiences that I that I was that. I remember the aura. <laughs> you know how our studios are like when it's dark, I'm not So doesn't it scare you sometimes venturing into these stories? Because we've heard so many, we've had so many, we've followed so many stories. Doesn't it doesn't it then scare you? Knowing think, that these things are happening in the world. Okay, I think in it maybe it's the the way I was brought up, mm -hmm. and then maybe even a kuna mata kwanaita. I grew up in the church in the apostolic faith. Yeah. The gula wa the noiti church I was somewhere. Right. Um. Even my parents van vai vai na mata jodi serious. So it's also we've always been told kuti kufa. Mura mm -hmm. and the kind of time you are going to face at your one, nothing will ever happen to you. Yeah. I always say this. Uh, but as long as time you are going to face at your one, and then you just say, you you don't even know what you are saying, and you so like when you grow up now, wapa kuma parents, wapu, wapu tanga kono, shume shunzul itika. Saka mwengu wa, shume shunzul inye curiosity, shume shunzul itika. Ha, shume shunzul itika, shume shunzul itika. So, kwa mwanda tanga kufollow wa manju kutuchi wona, so, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, so it's more about your strength and prayer and just oh, how you are oh, yeah. in inside kuti. Minoto shume shunzul itika, kuti, no, it's this not. is really what's there, so. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, that's, that's good. Mm. And also, um, also on your philanthropic work, um, the visits that you do, Kuma prisons, okay. uh, you visit my prisons and for those, for the benefit, maybe you could share that um, <laughs> part, okay. uh, just give us more intel on what it is it that motivated you to actually go Kuma prisons and do all that. All right. Um, Kuma prisons, uh, I remember uh, I used to be so so much afraid of wasting on the prison. When I lenga to go feel I'm very good during the time which can be thrown out during Monday. I was rapist, you know all those crimes that are known. So one day, um, okay, I follow a lot of my programs and Obuda on the televisions. So I used to follow my my programs that come to me. Nika, I used to enjoy to move Nika. I don't care. But I'm not going to be a motion. I'm not going to be a Then I said, okay, maybe the same thing. I'm not going to be a chitika. So I'm not going to be a prison. I'm not going to okay, fine. We also do a lot of charity work. Maybe I'm a prison. I'm not going to be a chitika. Help. That's how I got into that. You know, to the whole world, I'm not going to be a chitika. I'm not going to help. So I started working with my rehabilitation officers, the Kuma prisons, mm -hmm. where they would say, yes, there are some cases. Mm -hmm. So meet those people. Uh, to my interviews. I think a lot of people they know very well. But I'm a secure to come to interview. Um, secure of a vaca vane vaba pure sentence about 38 years, I think. Evo Pachavar must have been something of Vanzi Vaca Raper in the part. Tell me, I'm not accused of that. Vava told me, cut it. Yeah, you would be worse knowing which he could have committed the crime. So when we did an interview with him, a lot of people for that sympathize. Let's get a lawyer. We managed to get a lawyer. And you have to get a insecure worker to do that. In the past 38 years, I want to save, I think, about three years. And he was very, very sick. But he said, I want to go back to Kwanza Oboda. And then we later discovered, no, he was a kid who was a kid who was a kid who was a kid. Then somebody wanted to go back to Kwanza Oboda. Mm -hmm. So it's 
there are a lot of such cases. The Buti Tino Tevera, Matevera, one of Totino, these people, like some of them, they are innocent. Of course, we are not saying one is already genuine. Yeah, like they innocent. Are but Panevamo, one is not genuine. Yeah, it's a good one. Maybe Akashaya, a Baka Kwanza Kumbatsira, who represent her legally. So that's when you come in and help, and then who she won a chance, a good thing, you avoid appeal or something like that. Okay, no, that because usually when we are watching as my viewers, yeah. you don't really know what's on the ground. When you hear a story, you're quick to say, "No, mm -hmm. why are you taking this particular case? This person was already judged. This person was already given a sentence, and we don't take time yeah. to 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 really understand, understand what, really, what happens. really happens." Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're quite grateful. Uh, maybe you can share with our viewers what the name of the show is when <laughs> it uh, when when you have it. Okay. Yes. All right, the, the, the show in on the behind bars, uh -huh. all right, uh, in noise for Pastor FM every Tuesday, in uh, Maneruna half past 10, but we also have it on our platform, Till the Live Zim. Uh, besides the show, we also have Mama interviews, uh, and then you can Mama my prisoners as well any mm -hmm. other time and like whenever we feel good up a panel need we just bring it anytime at nama particular times especially but no not up a images we just come live anytime now all right yeah. thank you and i hope our viewers will also tune in to watch because these are inspirational stories <coughs> these are testimonials also yeah. so i also wanted to hear from you as a woman within yeah. the media industry let us come to the woman, <laughs> to the, the woman, not just the presenter. How have you experienced the industry? Because usually media, people feel like it's male dominated. But how, how has been your experience in, in that regard when, when it comes to gender within media? Yeah, you can say that Kuti, eh, when it comes to gender, like, uh, have you heard Kuti Vanavadiki say Mana Arpenda Kanaku Dake? I who sang and Savana, maybe Vamwe Varuru or Mono Atema, Vana Avazvekala. So I think it's just the same with uh, this job. Mm -hmm. When we are in there, mm -hmm. our friend of Bona. Just push whatever you, you, you have or just your talent. Okay. <laughs> uh, this, this, yeah. this is a male, I'm female, mm -hmm. a pair, but like when it comes to Work. this industry, mm -hmm. I think we are just all equal. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank you for equal. that. Of course, there are times when maybe naturally as a woman no go don't sangana mama cases e kuti anela chibata vanhu kadzi and then you feel that as a woman maybe i need to be the voice of these people i need to stand up for other women as well right. e, e, but not only when women even men, men. even mm. men like especially if we look at my cases in toti gbv yeah. right Mostly we are talking about women. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm saying. Let's just see this as like taste just equal. equal. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. All right. No, thank you for that enlightenment. I think that also, it actually talks to other young people who are yeah. trying to get into the industry. Kuti, yeah. don't just focus on the gender. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on the gender. We are all equal when yeah. it comes to work. And I don't think it just speaks to media. Yeah. I think it goes to all, yes. yeah, yeah, all walks of life. When you get into work, yeah. don't consider gender. And did did you have any sad moments? When it comes in your career, where you were just there, like is Zandi Bata, Zandi Bata steering, and you just never shared about it. Um, I think I once shared this. I've had some sad moments. Yeah, I remember Panya, which made a lot of noise some years back, even a marine. 
Oh yes, I think a lot I of people uh, know about that mm. story. When I was marrying a certain reason, you know, it would be a story in good developer. You find out, you follow her, right? Can you even have phone? That I was ring, right? That I told my friends, I told my friends, or one, you break the news to my parents. They were also shocked. But ah, that I told them, they are not ready. But I didn't want to tell my child. When we are going to process it, but I don't even want to buy a sister. Same sister. Same. Uh, one of the girls died. Oh shame. Ah, you are going to bat. You are going to bat. Apo upa wa na update every day, okay? Mano ya eko shuno actors as phone ingwa, writers one ingwa. While you are in, in process of getting the gate, one or two mana, I end up hospital or something because the banga achi anga are mentally disturbed. Mm. While you are doing that, the other family ever never involved more than the buyer we are. Mambosia, we are going to try in the morning try to follow up with the Jehovah Fambasi. Then after that, my after my dad get attention, my family my uncle also is on to you. Yeah, yeah. That must uh, have been devastating. Yeah, it was devastating. And how did you deal with that? You know, um, you 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 at the end you just accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is it. Mm. But a. Uh, uh, what I was happy about that situation is at least people got to understand spiritual mm. and uh, I remember that time a lot of parents you know what this is real uh, this is real this is happening Mm -hmm. So at least um, something came out of that. Uh, yeah. that A conversation started. Uh, that whole situation. No, mm -hmm. that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that must have been devastating. Yeah, because yeah. especially when you're working with someone, you think no, no, there's always a light yeah. at the mm -hmm. end of the tunnel. Yeah. We'll get mm -hmm. there. You know, when, like when you are, you would find a story. Mm -hmm. You're hoping that at the end, eh, uh, my results eh, are positive. Mm -hmm. Then you don't get to get there. Yeah, yeah. But I think it also gives a lesson, you know, at times this will happen there's yeah. some cases that oh, yeah. you won't then resolve them as yeah. much as you might even yeah. want to yeah. um i think maybe let's go back to your journey um in the media business how did you become a tv presenter um uh, okay just like the way i got in, into radio mm -hmm. uh, there was an advert they wanted some television presenters for the musical program in Bingim Bingi, by yeah. the name in Bingim Bingi. And then um, a lot of people uh, came through for the auditions. I remember when we first went there. I remember Derek uh, the first, first auditions. It was on a Saturday. And I said, ah, you know what? I'm not going. But my husband said, no, you have to go. I don't think I'll make it. I'm not going. Then he like insisted, no, just go, just go. And then I can go and I was going to I just did um, what I could. Then after that, when I went, I shall not run the gate of an hour, brother was not well. I did terrible headache. I don't think he could find anything. I got no, as long as one way touch it, okay, fine. Then I was uh, surprised. I came in the short list of Baba and Bakanzi teaching for the second mm -hmm. audition. I said, ah, oh, really? <laughs> So when I went for the second audition, ah, I don't know no more. Poor mo, garo ba tumbo pinda pa TV pa do, chi 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 cha. Na kung wait on, na kung wait on, then after that, eh, the kind of fara chu ko dino pa kano four ba tuchi traga, we made it. It was Eric Knight, John Piri, myself, and Captain Siba. Oh wow, yeah. the names! <laughs> I know those names. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that must have been amazing. No, it was. That's great. Um, now we are going to go on a short break, but we will be back. Natete Tilda um, will be venturing more into her story as an individual, not just the presenter that you are used to seeing. So stay tuned and make sure you are sharing this link, share the post. And if you have anything that you want to say, make sure you put it in the comments so that we are able to read it out. If you have questions, um, then we'll read them out. Thank you.
Tete Tilda. I hope you are sharing. We are live on Sly Media here in the capital and we are coming to you wherever you are. Talk about convenience. And we are just here to hear Tete Tilda's testimonial, not just a testimonial, but just her whole journey, which is quite inspirational, how she started, what pushed her into whatever she's doing. So now we're going to mellow it down a little bit and talk about family. <laughs> just to hear you as a wife, as a mother, and probably as a daughter as well. But okay. first, I think... In Inango, personally, what I want to hear is mm -hmm. how you met your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm husband. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I met my husband um, 2022. 36 years ago. Whoa. Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I met my husband 36 years ago uh -huh. um, in Bulawayo. Okay. Yeah, by then I remember, no, yeah, okay. I had just been transferred from um, Barre Studios to Montrose. I was in Bulawayo, I was in an apprentice in Coco. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, okay. And this best friend of mine, right? It's like a best friend of mine. I'm going to have a boyfriend. I'm going to have a phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. So, the boyfriend happened to be a colleague and friends with my husband. Okay. So, my husband, I got someone in town, right? Eventually, my apprentice to in RZ. So, friend, I one day, I've had just been transferred in the house, and then about two weeks, right? So, and then about two weeks in the Kubla wire, but they are in the village of town, and now we saw the boyfriend with friend young and got transfer a cooker to in RZ. Whoever my apprentice with, I can't but you know, I'm um, to know who to me a message. Because that time, the only way I tell family and I my message is either when you're at home, can I put a phone? Because you know the landline is sharp, Mr. Rajesh. Yes. So that's my name, my landline number. So I manage. I don't know that my friends, a boyfriend, they are getting the battery recharge. Kukuiro, muto chaka 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 chaka. Now, but as I can tell you, the family and my friends are recharged and they're reflecting. So that you don't end up with a fake or send a message. So I remember we were three, and in the friend younger and on the bossy, she's now based in Cape Town, and one on the Lucy, she's uh, in the UK. So I dashed up fly to fire, I got ah, second floor. I had to get to know you, and I just got to get 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 to not to touch the watch, but to end up maintaining the shop with the chat over time like that. To get in the shop, Cassica, we need to go back home. Those numbers are wrong, Shanda. No, no, no. So, by end up in the Taura, Shika and Maripo, and then she does most of Taura, Mandy, Minda Bassa, most of Funera, Richard Mons of Chaka 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 Chaka, like that's how she used to communicate me in the Kovanaki. Then after the scan, and she had a little one that's here pass. Some don't know, here pass is Gansi. I want to I think it took took us about three months. Yeah, to go near the moon, our room, Jamogata, as good. Like I'm afraid, young man, that's not bad. You got to run away, so that's what they say that we need more woman. So that time I remember, and they shut up Montrose. So, pa, Tyrone staff bus. 
36 years 36 years no that's a blessing that is really a blessing and what values would you say you got from your family that you've passed down into your own family now um i think uh importance your family mm -hmm. appreciating each other mm -hmm. uh, and love love yeah. yes in the i just want to thank god i've just seen that in my children as well, right? And we were blessed with uh, four children, mm -hmm. uh, three girls and a boy. Ooh. Also blessed with the Wakwasha with the two, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, so I'm just seeing, uh, I count my blessings every day. Oh, that's I amazing. can and we also have two grandchildren. Oh. Two granddaughters. Okay. So we count our blessings every day. All right. And what words would you have for the young people, knowing that, not just young people, yeah. for everyone, yeah. knowing what you've seen, the work you've done, all of it, what wise words would you leave with everyone today? Okay. Um, what I can say is um, love is a beautiful thing, uh -huh. and love conquers everything. Uh, no matter what situation, my problems, and by the way, one of my favorite shows these days, yeah, the mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it cannot be easy, but what is important at the end of the day uh, is Kungo Wirirana, to compromise until you, Mama Manyato Wirirana. Uh, maybe you know, not going to say, ah, you is not meant for me, you can if you just take time, uh, to work on your marriage, so can make a church first place. So, kumbero was not not so easy. And the, yeah, I think at the end of the day, love is a beautiful thing, and love conquers everything. Mazins Guira from Tete Tilda. Those are our closing words. Love conquers all. Love, family, just uniting. Yeah. So we'd like to thank you, Tete for joining us and giving me the opportunity <laughs> to speak with you and to learn more about you as a being. Um, there you have it, guys. We would like to thank you for also tuning in and watching this interview. Be sure to share this post and be sure to give us my likes in, you guys. We want those likes. Do not stop liking, reposting, and following our pages. And also make sure to tune in to Teta Tilda's shows and to get more inspirational stories because the work that she's doing is really philanthropical and it is great in our community. So, Sarai Zwakanaka, Tunokuwanae next time. Thank you. Yes, it's a TV. How